in with a very very awesome video today we are cooking chapati chapati with beans a simple recipe very simple actually so what we need is flour flour some salt personally I use salt and I mix with sugar because I love the mixture of it I don't like pure sugar or pure salt I love the mixture of it some some warm water water and some cooking oil you can see so what we do we just mix uh, personally I start with my flour and uh, you measure according to the number of, of your family uh, don't mm, put too much flour so that you cannot cook ugali, cook chapat. So, we are a family of three, but two people take the chapatis. The other one is for breastfeeding. That is enough. So, as I said in my previous video, me personally, I don't measure my salt with the Sijui measuring spoon. I use my eyes. Because I'm an African. Don't do this at home. <laughs> Please, if you can't measure your salt with your eyes, use the measuring spoons. That's enough. Next, uh, some sugar. I also do the same because I'm me. Yeah. Add some oil. And mix so I'm cooking the simplest style of cooking chapati when you don't have time to wait for hours so personally um, I add some warm water I don't like cold water so this is warm it's good for your hands and make sure your hands are clean so that you cannot cook that chapatis so you just need pole pole slowly by slowly until you dough is uh, formed you just keep adding water in small portions and kneading it may look that it like some that you work but this is the only process you have to use so that you can make your chapatis so guys me i love chapatis so much i can even wake up at midnight to cook them because I love wheat. I don't know what happened when I was pregnant with my baby boy. Hey, I had cravings for chapatis. I would wake up at midnight to cook them. And so when your dough is soft, you just keep adding flour if you put too much water. If that's what I did. And now I have to correct my mistake by putting more flour. Flour. So that my dough can be a bit together. So this is what you do. You just need... So you keep kneading until your dough is uh, <laughs> entangled, <laughs> as I always say. I don't know the word to use when you're kneading your flour to make it a strong dough so that when you make your chapatis they are not too soft or too hard. is almost 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 you add 
some oil to make it <laughs> it's like garnishing your dough <laughs> so that's what I do personally I don't know how you other people do it but I'm using my own formula so you'll notice my hands don't have a lot of flour it's already in the dough And the secret is just kneading. You keep kneading until your dough is this smooth. So guys, my dough is almost ready. For those who have time to wait, you can cover it up. So that it can, it can, nasikia nga kujipika, I don't know the word in English, naeza jipika, unge ina jipika, for the dough to be ready. But since today I don't have a lot of time, I'm just gonna go to straight to the point, I'm not making, I'm not making uh, layered chapatis, I'm just making chapatis, plain chapatis. So what I do, I'll just roll my dough like this and make balls because I don't have too much too much time today so I'm just gonna make my dough balls this is what I do I cut them into pieces and just knead like this into small small balls those are dough balls <laughs> If you feel the dough is too soft and too thick on the pan, you just add some flour and then you just roll like this and place. This is my simple formula. <laughs> I do everything with my hands. I measure the size with my hands. I measure the texture with my hands. I don't know. I'm too African. Easy to the copy my I I don't use them so. Forgive me, people who use measuring cups and spoons. I'm just showing the simplest ways, the quickest, simplest ways to knead your chapatis and cook your chapatis. So I don't love thin chapatis too because I don't get satisfied so fast. I love heavy chapatis which are... <laughs> You know, heavy, which are not too light, not too little. There are people who prefer the thin chapatis, but I don't. So, this is my style. You can also share your style down on the comments and tell me how you do yours. But this is how I do it. So my balls are ready so it's just cooking so I place the pan so I'm African I love counting my chapatis so that I know how to cook them because I don't like cooking one 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 by one so I go like two two four six eight ten twelve fourteen so do the math how many I'll be cooking Personally, this is what I do. I place it here, then I just splatter with my hand. Then I use this uh, the motor of the chapatis. Rolling pin. Rolling pin, thank you. <laughs> I use the rolling pin to make the shapes. I'm sorry, I, I really don't love using this stuff because it makes a lot of noise and it's takes me more time to make the shapes so to perfect 
perfect it to a good shape. I think just need to practice. So me, that's the five angle. I think it's a good shape. Our pan is ready. So you just place your chapel. And you need you make the next one because uh, time won't wait for you. So personally, I cook three three chapels. Huh? That's a technique I learned from my mom, and it saves time.
our system again. The three chapatis you cook like that. You keep checking so that your chapati cannot go black. Oh, I burnt that one. Chapati number two. Keep rolling. Already turn the first two 